All right, David, back over to you. All right, welcome back everyone. Um, in a minute, we'll go through any any comments, but I was just going through, uh, I guess, the second item myself in terms of, you know, what would I say or how might I position this? And I was thinking it could be a health score. It could be a quality of life score. Um, it could be the same 12 items on our tracker card. It could be 20. I, I think the beauty of it is that, you know, we can leverage right to our tracker card and say, hey, this is how we're helping people. This is how people track how they benefit. These are not the only things, but... You know, having that leverage, people go, oh, well, here's my score, it's low, and here's a card for a resource that is tracking these exact things. I think that's a great thing um, to, to pivot to. The other thing I thought of was, you know, this could also be a, a life fulfillment score. You know, I help people with their life fulfillment score. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we got introduced to a reason for being score in terms of Ikigai. You know, what the world needs, what can be rewarded for, what can be good at, what do we love to do? Um, are we serving the many? Um, you know, do we have a passion for what we do? You know, we could, we could lay out, you know, 12 benefits of the business and, uh, and how that improves a person's quality of life. So um, uh, that's kind of where I was, you know, for spending a little bit of my time this morning, just considering, you know, how, how would I present this? And and you know what would really make this work for me. So, any any additional thoughts? Anybody have any experiences or any feedback on the the approach? Whether you, maybe you saw the presentation by J.C. Smith or not, or maybe you might be enticed to go take a look at it. Yeah, Deborah, go ahead. I did see the presentation by J.C. Smith, and it was amazing. I have used it a couple of times, and I like the expansion that you are putting on it. Um, with the life score or, or uh, the quality score <clears throat> or the business. And I would like to hear what you have to say more about those types of questions and developing new questions. I think this is a great angle because it makes it easier for people to realize that there is a benefit. And for me, it makes it easier for me to present because I think it is also uh, focusing again on the benefit that they would receive. So I'd like right. to talk about this. Yeah, I, I was just having some thoughts on, you know, the fulfillment score uh, just, just in the last uh, few minutes. And the, the thing that came to, the thing that came to, the thing that came to my mind right away was the Ikigai presentation by, um, by Tyler. And that could be someone that you're just talking with the business about or someone who's just getting started to motivate them a little bit more to really give them a score. Okay, on my quality of life score, I'm, I'm coming into my SC business at a, I don't know, a 42 out of 100. And, um, and these are the ways that, uh, you know, this business can help with that. Um, so I haven't formulated all, you know, what all 10 or what all 12 or 20 business items would be just yet. But uh, that's kind of where my brain went in terms of, uh, I know that for myself, I focus on the health benefits of this more than I do the business benefits. And I know that's a reason why my business doesn't grow the way I'd like it to. So um, we could certainly uh, find a time to chat about that offline, I guess, and uh, maybe brainstorm a little bit and figure out, you know, what are the top 10 or 12 things that we could go through with somebody to give themselves um, a, a score on to evaluate themselves. Oh, other thoughts, other comments? What did you just say about Ty Tyler's talk about the icky guy? I know you didn't say that. That's what it sounded like. What did yes, you that is what I said. Tyler gave a talk. I'm trying to think of exactly when that was. I believe it was. Um, it was wasn't it envisioning. Training? Okay. The ascent training uh, in the back. It was the ascent training. Yeah, the ascent training. And then it was released to everyone. And he gave his talk about this this Japanese concept, um, which means in Japanese, a reason for being, uh, Ikigai, I-K-I-G-A-I, I believe it is. And um, we can dig that out. It's probably in a C United as a, as, a, um, as a post there. But he went through sort of the four quadrants of what makes a fulfilled life. And then he talked about the intersection of those and how we come to this point in the middle where all four of those things are being satisfied, leading to fulfillment, uh, impact on the world, uh, you know, and a whole host of other benefits. Wow, thank you. And, sure. and um, as you know, doing this exercise, 
I, you know, I just realized I had like a score on how I feel normally and then how I feel when I interact with a certain person and, and like sleep is really good, but I don't go to bed early enough, you know? So I, I, I average those two scores together and my <laughs> score didn't come out too great. And I did, and I realized I've got to be just a lot more, uh, you know, do it every day, twice a day with my skincare and have to get back to the gym. And it just so many other things came up out of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, I just think this is a wonderful, wonderful oh. idea. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a, I, I thought the presentation was, was genius and it, it, it sparked me to do the same thing. And I've made changes to my ASEA daily method of operation. And I've made changes to other things as well. You know, how else, you know, what is my other things that I do to, to stay healthy and, and active? And it also, made me real, it also made me realize I, you know, I took myself out of build to bronze because something happened in my business and I got my feelings hurt. And anyway, this is just great. This is, so I want to get back in that. This is just, wow. Very good. Great. Thank you, Melanie. I think as a schedule reference, I'm pretty sure the build of bronze is not happening uh, at least through the summer at this point. So they've stopped that. Uh, there are some other special things that pop up here and there, but as a, as a general schedule item, I don't think it's on the weekly schedule anymore. Other thoughts today? Feedback? If not, uh, I'm going to borrow something that Cindy said yesterday about the one-step rule and that when you learn something new and it's on your top of mind, try to put it into action, you know, within, you know, four to 12 to 24 hours so that you practice it and at least give yourself an experience with it to see. Uh, I see Deborah's already done that and uh, hopefully the rest of us can, can go ahead and put this into practice and see uh, how we can use this idea to, um, to get people's attention and to show them how they can benefit. Fabulous right. training, David. Fabulous. Thank you, fabulous. Peg. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Thanks, everybody. Uh, Very, Cindy, helpful. Schedule, Thank you. Very helpful. Thank you. Schedule a question for Monday. Yes. Uh, so Monday is Memorial Day. Tomorrow is Friday. Let me tell you who the trainer is for tomorrow first. So I think Gina Moran is the trainer for tomorrow. And, um, and then on Monday is Memorial Day. So enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. We'll meet back up on Tuesday. But we'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Great day. Thanks, everybody. Thank Thanks, everybody. Have a great, great day. Job. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Thank you.